Hello, Audio Gun members. I'm Matthew San Maria, Director of uh, Marketing for Navison Audio. You're in the Navison Audio Vistani Speaker Room right now. We just thought we'd show you what we're doing at the 2008 CES show. What we're demonstrating is our brand new uh, Reference 211 Special Edition amplifiers. And those are 40 watt triode model blocks, of course, pure class heading. They're using the GE 211 triode tubes, is what we have in them right now. They're single ended parallel. And we're using the Navison Special Edition Mark II preamp, which is $4,900, all tube, of course. And our brand new prototype Reference 228 tube output CD player. And this is something we're very proud of as well. For the first time, Navison has a source component for all your music lovers. And this product really gets the whole of the music right. Of course, it has all the best digital technology, but it really has that very special tube sound that we're so proud of from Madison. The uh, speakers we're using are the Vistani speakers out of Germany. Uh, it's called the Apollo. And those are a very special design in that they have a 12-inch driver that's being driven full range from about 100 hertz up to 10 kilohertz. So there's absolutely no crossover in that product from the amplifier to the main speaker that we're listening to. We bring a tweeter, a horn tweeter in, which is also uh, up at about 10K, we bring that in to fill in the top. And we've got a powered woofer with its own amplifier driving the bottom end to bring it up a bit. The, it's an open baffle design, which gives it a big, open, spacious sound. And it really does help, along with the Navison gear, create what we think is one of the most realistic sounds at the show this year. Hello again, AudioCon members. We're going to focus for a moment on our brand new Navison Reference 228 CD player. We know that music lovers and audiophiles are always a little bit suspicious that these CD players are going to leave a little bit of that music on the table when you play it back in your home systems. We've used all the very best digital technologies on our new CD player. It does have a 24-bit DAX and all the crazy stuff that everybody's using at the top end now, but it does have a very special, unique Navison tube output stage. We are using the 6922, but of course with all our little tricks and what makes Navison so special. We believe that the CD player really gets to the heart of what the musician that made the music wants you to hear. And we invite all the members to take a listen as soon as you get a chance. This is our new top of the line amplifier. It is the Special Edition 211 and it's a 40 watt mono block. When you take a look at this amplifier, not only is it beautifully uh, finished, inside the parts choices are all the best parts from around the world. You've got Jensen uh, paper and oil capacitors, You've got Moldorf power supply caps, Tango output transformers and mains transformers. We even use Cardis and audio, uh, the uh, audio note uh, speaker jacks on the back. So we've tried to use the very best parts that you would love to have on your products and a lot of people end up adding. They're already in our product. And along with the very unique approach to Navis and circuit design, we believe we get the most musical products available today. And for a moment, we're going to talk about the SE Mark II Navison preamp. This won the 2008 Positive Feedback Award for one of their top preamp choices. If you look inside our preamp, you'll see part of the reason we're so proud. We're using all the best parts from around the world, Jensen capacitors, Riken resistors. We've even got a very special uh, microprocessor board in the back that eliminates the normal volume controls that have uh, uh, parts to wear out in the selector switches that are usually manual selection, which wear out and corrode over time. All the volume control and input selection is done by this microprocessor board. So you get a very short signal path at the back of the preamplifier and the very best sound without any interferences of mechanical components. We're also using the uh, 6H1 uh, tubes in this. There are eight of them. And what's interesting about this, it's a single gauge thing. It's a composite triad. So they're not multiple levels of gain. It's the, one of the most purest approaches you can have, making our preamplifiers sound a lot like the very best passive line stages, but with all the magic of a full tube preamp. Hello again, AudioCon members. What you have right here uh, is our first amplifier. It's an OTL design using the Russian 6C33 uh, triad alpha tubes. It's a 70 watt model block. We have the other one to my left over here. And that is a product we're very proud of. And it's something that uh, was one of the reasons I joined the Navison company. It has a flow to it that's so musical, it's very hard to stop listening to music in your home. So that's a little bit about our OTL. 
Um, one of the things we're doing this year at the show is we're showing with the Biscani Apollo speakers. We believe the Biscani product gives us a realism to our presentation that you just don't get out of most hi-fi speakers these days. We're really trying to create a speaker that if a music lover came into our room, a musician, an audiophile, any of those folks stop by and take a listen. They really get something that the artist that made the music that we're, that we're playing on our CD player really would say that's what it's supposed to sound like. We believe that our approach gets to the heart of the music and not just the pieces.